Cubans and Antiguans alike have gathered to send this one message, stop the blockade. About 30 vehicles made up a motorcade to demonstrate their support for the call to end the United States trade embargo imposed on Cuba. Plastered on windows, signs read, no U.S. blockade and unblock Cuba. The blockade has been in place since 1962, when then-President John F. Kennedy signed it into being. A man who's a part of a group of Cubans living in Antigua says there's no legitimate reason for the embargo. Cuba has done nothing to the U.S. Cuba has done many good things for the entire world. So there is no right for any country to impose any embargo on any other country. Cuba's ambassador to Antigua, Maria Fefe Cabrera, says the embargo affects the lives of Cubans every day. This blockade is affecting all sectors of the Cuban society, health system, educational system, all spheres of our life. And precisely in this important moment in which all the world is facing this pandemic. Antiguans also joined the motorcade in solidarity. Cuba has been extraordinarily generous to the people of Antigua and Barbuda in very real ways. The blockade is unjust. It is something that cannot be um, readily rationalized. Tim Heto was instrumental in speaking with the Cuban government and authorities to establish scholarships at Antigua and Barbuda. So we have established a friendship with Cuba. In addition, we feel that the blockade against Cuba is unjust, it's illegal. The United Nations General Assembly has voted almost 30 times to condemn the embargo. Jessica Russell, ABS News.